All right, folks. God bless you guys. Welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. All right, guys. So check it out. I'm just taking a quick check-in today. I think everybody needs to see this. Um, the, uh, the video I did last night showing you guys, the human host body is nothing more than a transmutation device for angels. That's it. That's all it is. It's the greatest illusion ever even imagined. And I'm trying to show you guys by using the enemy's own outward manifestation of what they are. I'm just trying to use their own stuff just to show you. You can tell every tree by its fruit. You can see what they are just by looking at what they produce. If they produce a building called the Vatican, that means divining serpent. Vatican means divining serpent. And it actually is built in the shape of a snake wearing a crown. Well, then you know who's building it. Who's the snake in the Bible? The serpent is Satan, the devil. Well, remember, he's many in one, so they built a big snake wearing a crown because the serpent race meets inside that building. It's a no-brainer. And they worship in front of an altar that's a dead sheep, which is a bunch of angels that make up the dead sheep because we're all the angels. We're, we're the many in one that make up the dead sheep. And it's male and female reproductive systems. It's a no-brainer. Everybody that knows Satanism knows Satanism is worshiping the flesh. Do as thou will. Everybody should know that. So, the video I showed you last night is just the end, the end of the transmutation process. So you get a you get an angel, you get him to agree to the forbidden fruit host body system. You come in, you got a good you and a bad you, a right side up you and an upside down you, like a set of twins spiritually inside of you. So you got. An angel and a demon fighting for control inside of you. Unless you surrender, admit your guilt before God, and you get inverted, then you go to the pit when you die. That's it. It's that simple. This is exactly what the world is, what I'm showing you. And I'm proving it with all the data that the Lord God gave me. Now, I did that video last night starting the, the why series. I do a video and I ask the question, why this or why that? And then I answer that question during a very short video. Last night was the why series begins. Why is there a, there a sculpture of a human in agony under the list of popes? And here's that human that's in a slave collar that's a beast. Underneath the human is a beast. Slave collar, I showed you. The mark of the beast is the mark of a man. The human host body is the beast system. And the beast operates through it to destroy angels. So when you take this image of this human in his slave collar and you turn it upside down, it becomes a locust from the pit. Let's watch just a second because I got some to show you today. I'm not sure, but it's sure it's very telling. Here we go. Watch. And I'm going to show you the expanded view. There it is. Look how evil that thing is. Look how evil and wicked that thing is. Now, let's turn it upside down so you can see the assimilation. So to see the assimilation and what's going to happen to you, you simply turn it upside down. Now, there he is. He has a face like a man upside down. He has hair like a woman. Okay, so there's what I showed you on the number one short series. That's the video. Let me show you what I saw this morning. This is... Uh, this video came out. I'm going to go to the guy's channel right here, WJ315. And he was watching a La Palma, a La Palma live feed. So I'll just play this. Watch. Okay, so I'm showing you that this is a live feed that's playing on his channel, apparently, that he's watching. Now, I'm going to play you this video and show you what's in it. Now, now remember this. I'm the guy that the Lord God chose to warn the world that there's a fire coming to destroy the entire world. Been doing it since 2002. 
I've been telling you, the human host body is nothing than a transmutation device to trap an angel that went against the Most High, get him caught in a host body, which is duplicitous, it's good and evil, and then if he doesn't get reconciled to God through his journey of being a human, then he goes to the pit, and his eternal soul, be soul becomes food for a locust from the pit. And they have tails like scorpions, and they have wings, and the sound of their wings is as many horses rushing into battle. Well... For us to see the locust, the pit has to open. That's what the Bible says in Revelation 9. Well, the volcano in La Palma, and I find it interesting, La Palma means the palm. Your, your body has two palms. It's kind of interesting that La Palma is off the hook. And let me show you what's in this video now. Especially considering the video I did last night. And then I'll tell you what happened to me today out in front of my house. Super bizarre. Ready? Keep an eye right here. Look right here. Keep an eye right here. Right here. I want you to pay right here. Pay attention. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to play this over and over again for you. Pay attention to the way the object on your screen, it's a black dot, but you can tell it has wings. You can also tell it changes its trajectory, its, its, its course, it alters it. And then you can tell that it doesn't say, stay the same level of black. It fades out, which would highly suggest that it's real because... There's a bunch of smoke, and if it changes its trajectory, then it goes behind smoke. It wouldn't look as solid as if it was some CGI fake thing. I don't believe this is fake. I think this is real. Pay, pay attention. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change I'm going to change the speed of this video to playback speed to 0.25. Okay, now let's play it from the beginning. Now remember, this is where the orientation of the flight begins, right in here. Now, again, pay very close attention to the object, how solid the object looks in black. You can tell it's moving with wings. What's supposed to come out of the pit? Locusts with wings. and I'm just telling you, I'm showing you images in the Vatican that show a, a human in a slave collar that becomes a locust. That's all there is to it. And that's the serpent race. I'm not going to go into the tons of stuff I've shown you. But eventually it's got to happen, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, the, I'm the end of the world guy, right? So what happens in the end of the world? The pit opens. And then what? Locusts come out of the pit. An insect race, which is what I've been telling you over and over. It's got to happen eventually, right? I keep saying it's going to happen, right? Is this it happening where it's beginning? Maybe, you know, just like when an army shows up, scouts go out first, don't they? Is this the beginning? Because the Bible says in Revelation 9, and there was a great earthquake and smoke rose out of the pit and out of the smoke there came locusts upon the earth. That's what the Bible says, and that's what I've been telling you. So is this where it kicks off? I don't know. But I know the Lord keeps telling me, be ready, be ready, be ready. It's coming, it's coming. So anyway, so here you go. Let's pay very close attention right here. I see the dot, I think, right there. I've slowed it down, so let's, let's watch. Okay, here it is right here. See right here? Now it's changed the trajectory behind these clouds. Mm -hmm. 
there I believe it picks up right here maybe here it is right here here it is right here here it is right here it's kind of bizarre right it's kind of an odd looking I don't know there's something very odd right Okay, again, there it is. And um, do I know? I don't know for sure. But I do know this for sure. I am an end of the world harbinger. The Lord told me this would happen. And it, it's got to happen sometime. So be prayed up, guys. I love you in Christ. Um, I'm going to stay up tonight doing videos for you guys. All right, go back and watch this and, you know, Take a look for yourselves. Slow the reel down yourself. Watch the whole thing over and over again. And I've already done it. I've already done my due diligence. Uh, I looked at the guy's channel and, you know, is I'm thinking, is he trying to be a little too far out there with other stuff? Eh, I can see how he's like uh, into obviously this kind of a thing because I looked at his other videos right here. Does that mean that it couldn't be uh, legit? No. I don't know. I'll let you guys decide.